Okay, uh, what's up everyone? We have the Possession Cage Tournament going on. This is Chestick versus Earl, and I should be joined by something smart in a second. So let's take a look at this board. Um, so if it wasn't a possession board, it looks like you're doing some sort of inventor mega turn. You've got inventor for payload, you've got villages, you've got draw, um, two really good sources of draw. Uh, but this is possession cage, so that's probably not going to be a good idea to build that huge engine. Um, Remake is a really crazy card in possession context because uh, it's really good for getting thin, but if you can't get rid of the remake, it can become a big liability when your opponent possesses you. Oh, this Enchantress hit hurts. Would have really liked to play that remake. Hey, what's up, man? Um, I'm gonna turn your volume. Are you talking at full volume right now? Um, I can talk louder. Sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm, st I'm, I'm still distracted because I'm trying to find the game. I have too many friends online. It's not letting me. Is there a way to select, like, which friends it will show? Because I literally can't. I don't think so. Ew. <laughs> um... You know you can scroll the list, right? Oh, uh, I found it. I, I found someone else who was spectating. Um, no, I didn't know you could scroll the list in the fifth page. Uh, but anyway, I'm here. So, um, so they're scamming enchantresses. Yeah, a lot of enchantresses. Uh, I mean, it does stop possession. It is sort of like blocking for possession. Doesn't actually block the attack, but if you can make possession to a pig, sure. Well, yeah, I mean, attacks are just good. Well, I guess Enchantress isn't really. The attack doesn't do anything if it's played on a possession turn. Yeah. I was saying one of the key cards on this board looks to be a uh, remake because it's so good at um, getting you thin and getting rid of all your economy, which is what possession wants. Yeah. And that's true. And then it can be a liability after that because when your opponent's possessing you, if you have remake, that just is two free gains for them. Yeah, you can't you can't get rid of the remake, right? Exactly. Um, there's nothing here that can kill the remake. So, so far, they're building, um, I kind of wanted to see an inventor by now. Yeah, an inventor seems pretty good. I mean, it looks like they probably should have added potions by this point. Yeah, I mean, they're drawing deck. Now, it, they can remake a silver to a potion. Yeah, that's true. Um, and then they have exactly enough with coffers to buy a possession. Yeah, that works. Actually, they can remake silver uh, to potion, estate to silver, and then draw that up. If they can draw it. Yeah. But as, they, long, uh, as long as they've... I'm not, how many cards are in their discard? Is it just one copper? Just the one. So the odds are like pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, it looks like they're going for it. It's like five and six or something. Okay. Finds the potion, and we have our first possession. Uh, I don't. Oh wow, that is actually a great enchantress hit. Um, but he is an enchantress still in play, so maybe it finds him another action. It does. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, I I would have as Chestic there. I think I would have 
pick I, the Enchantress. Person. Yeah, I agree. I think you really want to draw there. Yeah, because now Chestic still doesn't have the potion. Yup, and now uh, Earl gets to play these remakes and just gain cards. Gain lots of good cards. Get himself a hunting party, get himself a plaza. Yeah, Earl it looks like quite ahead at this point. And then of course you don't like play the Enchantress. Yep. Yeah, actually I kind of wonder if Enchantress... <coughs> I wonder if Enchantress is like a trap here. Because in, in one of my... In one of my possession games that I played yesterday, there was Den. Mm -hmm. And my expand the Dens and I didn't touch them at all. And then once the possession started rolling out, the Dens were just a massive liability. So I wonder if, I mean, Enchantress is more useful because of the attack, but I wonder if it's a kind of a trap in the same way. Hmm. Maybe. Um, I think you're using it more for the draw than the attack here. Yeah, but if you're using it for the draw, like, it's Why? duration. So yeah. it's just draw for your possession turn. Yeah, exactly. Um, you're not going to play it on your possession turn, so you don't get the draw on your actual turn. Yeah, I'm not sure I like it. Um, I think I agree that um, you just don't really need Enchantress here. Maybe one, but certainly the, I don't think seven should be gone. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe opening one is good just because opening it can be really annoying. Hold on, I'm going to ping them and tell them what happened. Uh, what, what happened? I wasn't paying attention. Was there a bug or... Yeah. Oh, okay, just... Yeah, that's right, that's the only way to undo that it actually works with possession, isn't it? Yep. Although they're not even in a possession turn right now, it's just... Permanent. It bugs out the log, like, it, yeah, there's a bunch of glitches with it. Um, it, it screws with the log somehow, and so sometimes you just have to type slash undo to get things into, like, a sane state. Looks like they got it though, and um, so now we're gonna see killing off the economy and getting down to a deck that is uh, mostly possessions and green cards. This is a sad draw. Yeah, what do you even do here? I don't know you pick, I guess, yeah, pick the Enchantress because you know you're going to get possessed. But yeah, this is not looking good for Chestic. It's about to get double possessed. Now, Coffers are another thing where if your opponent has possession, they can just hop on your turn and spend all your Coffers on nothing. But... Chestic doesn't have a possession yet, so it's safe to keep building those coffers for at least a little bit more. Yeah, that looks like they're going to come in handy here. Yep, spend all that cash. Oh yeah, hunting party. Okay, bizarre. Sure. Also good. You have three possessions now, so you definitely want enough villages so that you can keep playing them. Trigger the terrible shuffle. Uh, because he has another possession turn coming up as this guy. There's a third one? Uh, oh, wait. No, he just got a third possession. Sorry, this is the second one. Yeah, this is the second one. Uh, I don't know. He should have triggered that shuffle. That seems like a pretty clear yeah, mistake. Like a, a guaranteed, like, missed shuffle, right? Like, yeah, there was no way Chester could do anything good. Yeah, that, that's just a mistake.
house to have. What are you looking like, buying a state here? I don't know. I think Majestic is probably just like screwed. It seems like he's in really bad shape, yeah. Um, he's going to be eating three possessions a turn now, at least. I mean, I, I guess, I guess Chestic's best shot is to just try and, like, stalemate. I don't, they need possession first. Apart, they can do that. They haven't even gotten to it yet. Yeah, I mean, they don't have a possession. They could start killing off all their economy, but without a possession in hand, you kill off all your economy, then the other player just switches back to money and wins. Now one thing I'm not sure about is as Earl like playing that enchantress before you possess them. Like I'm not sure you want Well, it, it does attack them on their actual turn too. Oh and then interesting, it... it does? What? It stays until their real turn? Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, it, until it, your next turn. Interesting. So it um Yeah, I've had I've had confusing moments where I'll be like under the Enchantress attack, I'll play an outpost, and then I'm Enchantress attacked again on the outpost turn. I'm like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> it hits on every... so, And then, yeah, I feel like it's still probably worth it to play the Enchantress also, because, you know, the duration draw. Mm. For ability, so. Imagine you were picking a... That's a big problem. You know, just just Chester not have enough hunting parties, maybe? That's why they haven't been much drawing. I'm not sure. I think they're both behind in draw and also in thinning. Yeah, I mean, at this point, wow, sad. At this point, it's kind of too late to be catching up. Cause... Yeah, that resign felt appropriate. Alright, game one goes to Earl. I totally forgot Orchard was on the board. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it wasn't hugely coming into play just because, like, we weren't near the end of the game yet. So. Yeah. Possession games do tend to run very long, um, both in terms of turn count and in terms of time. Yeah, and, and in terms of mental strain. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I played a set uh, today against uh, Haka, and it like definitely our game one was like almost an hour long it was like a really in felt like playing endurance dominion <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have like a custom ban list set up for this tournament no i don't i'm just using my regular ban list which happens to have ambassador on it anyway so um I but no I, I, if i, I, I don't Sorry. i was just gonna say if i roll i still have never played possession way of the horse so if i roll it like <laughs> Fuck it, it's whoever gets it first wins. Like, I'm down. Let's go. I, I, I don't know, that sounds pretty unfun to me. I don't, I don't care about the little extra time. I'm going to take that time to, like, make a make a new ban list for this. Also, I'm, want, I'm putting... I switched it around after my match because we had a, a Royal Blacksmith game where we mm. just, like... I just, like, kept buying Royal Blacksmiths on my opponent's turn. I, like, had, like, 48 debt by the end of the game or something. Yeah. I actually should have I... been... A, I've Should definitely have done that before in possession games. Um, yeah, deck cards are a problem. Tokens are a problem. Like, travelers are a problem. <laughs> travelers sound fun. The funniest thing is when you take over an opponent's disciple engine and just give them, like, four teachers. Yeah, and then when they try to put the tokens, you just use the teachers to put their tokens on everything useless. Yep. That sounds, that sounds like the fun kind of... Like, <laughs> Because that's like, that's not a, that's not stalemate. -y. It's not boring. It's just like you've got to be careful. Yeah. Okay. So what do we what do we have on this board? Uh, we have Bishop, which is kind of a nice possession counter. Yep. You get that VP, and um, yeah. I mean, it's not the strongest possession counter, but it's definitely good. Um, yeah. I mean, any any little thing helps. Like, yeah. A replace and treasure look pretty relevant. You can replace treasures into stuff and then grab them back with treasure. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess you can do that with platinum. That's pretty good. Yeah, there's not much draw on the board. How does how does replace work with possession if if 
you possess somebody and make them replace into a victory card, do you still get cursed? I think um, you blue dog rule, right? Because they didn't gain the, the I victory. believe they since they didn't gain a victory card, they don't get cursed. Yeah. So that means replace is like potentially dangerous. Yeah, I mean treasure benefit in general is just dangerous. Yep. I mean when you have good treasure benefit, your opponent can take over your deck and sometimes it's actually useful that the cards get set aside and not killed because they want to keep possessing you and keep trashing them on subsequent turns if they have good treasure benefit stuff. Yeah. Um... Plus it getting set aside means it's not gonna show up in their shuffle. Yeah, so I guess Bishop is nice as a way to get rid of, like, your other... Like, you can get rid of your replace with Bishop. Mm -hmm. When you don't want it anymore, because there'll definitely be a time when you don't want it. Agreed. Oh, also, Mining Village as a village is, like, awful. Yeah, it... I didn't even is that one yeah you, you want like you do not like, want to have mining village because it just every time your opponent plays it on possessed turn it's it's a, <laughs> a city that comes with two coins but but you need them because it's the only village yeah but... i mean you there's no the alternative is you know just to not play with villages which doesn't seem good to me at all So just take out a potion. What looks to be a little too early. Yeah, I don't. You don't want to add a potion in until you can actually reasonably hit six potion. Treasure is good for that because you can gain the copper if you need to in a pinch. Yep. You can also like, perhaps pop some mining villages to get there. Yeah. But you do want those mining villages because it is the only village on the board. It's not even what? anything cheeky like throning no. stuff. You want only, like, as as many as you need and no more. Yeah. Like... Possession makes you learn how to be very frugal with your buys. You want to have just enough money to do the stuff you want to do and not enough that when they take your money they can do anything good with it. Yeah, I already want to, like, you know, be able to get rid of your stuff after you don't need it anymore. Okay, so... What is he doing here? He's a seal... And top decks of treasure, okay. That seems pretty nice. So, yeah, I, 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 huh. On the one hand, Bishop. Bishop Treasurer is like kind of cute with platinum. Like you can you can farm tokens that way. Yep, you can potentially but gain a lot of VP that way, and it's VP your possessor can't take from you. On the other hand, that means that you're holding a deck with possession. I mean, sorry, with treasure, replace, and yeah. platinum in it. So, I mean, not replace, but um, you you still have a deck that can likely colony on possessed turns. Yeah, and the question is, is like playing bishop and treasure rather than just playing two possessions? Like, probably not. I don't think so. You to get to, but I, I do want to get a bishop at some point because, like, having the VP advantage that my opponent can't possibly abuse is going to be useful. Mm -hmm. Just take guarantee possession here. They can, right? A state and a potion. Then blow up the mining village. Yep. Or Trash probably. it. Pop that. Treasure grabs a copper. Oh, never mind. You don't even have to do treasure grabbing a copper. You have actions. Yeah, you, you could either have trash mining village or treasure getting a copper. Either one would work. Yeah, and I, I think yeah. you probably want to keep the mining village. Well, I don't know, because you don't want a lot of mining villages in the end here, so... Yeah, but, I mean, your opponent doesn't have a possession yet. I think it's okay to hold on to it for a little longer. Yeah, I guess. This is... 
Pearl must have at least one treasure down there, right? It's probably going to be a possession Pearl. Yeah, it looks like Earl's going to get a possession this turn. You take the... The key? key? Platinum? I already have the key. Uh... I feel like you take the platinum. Because, I mean, Earl doesn't even have any possessions yet. You can always replace it into a colony when you don't want it in your deck anymore. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Mm, yep, yeah, okay, so place treasure as seal so that they can top deck a possession. Looks good, looks good. Um, not a ton, just ramping up. We get our first uh, possession turns coming in. Um, so, uh, we saw a nice trick, um, from, uh, Earl, where he used four, um, he used Way of the Seals so that he could top deck a possession when he bought it. Um, and Chestick bought a bishop in response, so that is, of course, some defense against our man in the orb. Ooh. That's a weird hand. Yeah. I'm not sure why we have two potions. It seems like... Well, sure, because they, they replaced into the second one to guarantee possession. Right, okay. Yeah. Which I thought was a fine play. Yeah, I liked it. So, do you just take... I don't know, Secret Passage seems pretty good here. So with Secret Passage, when they possess you, they can actually, if they want to, screw up your shuffles kind of badly by, like, taking a bunch of junk cards and putting them in the positions that you'll get, you'll draw them next hand, um, or taking all your good cards and stuffing them away at the bottom of your deck. I mean, you shouldn't, like, spam Secret Passage, but getting a few of them is going to hurt Yeah, totally. Uh I just think it's interesting that such a mild card can actually, like, do some damage when you have possession on the board. I, I don't know what the village split is. I'm not Foley. sure either, Foley. I think it's... Let me uh, do some search of the log. Yeah, I think Earl has more, because it seems like Chustick is having more... more collision problems, although... Earl has one here. Is this... Uh, oh, whoa. No kidding. Earl has more. Uh, it looks like, um, Chestic, last one. yeah, I think Chestic has either three or four. Wow, was it really that bad? I mean, honestly, that's like, Earl probably has too many, because as soon as Earl gets possessed, like, it's just going to be... What's well, seven? It, it, seven two now. Cause just took that one away after you said seven. Yeah. Um, okay, so what is this thing? Sure. I mean, none of the treasure modes are all that helpful. No. Wait, this, that this actually, uh, you actually have to pick one and... Yeah, you actually do have to do one of them. Right? Sometimes you have to gain a copper. 
that you can't spend just to hit your price point or something, or give them the key. Yeah, no, normally with treasure, like if you want to do nothing, you can just click gain key if you already have it. But in this case, yeah, I probably I probably would still have taken it. I guess it depends on what you wanted to buy, but like, or else with the secret passage. Okay, this can be. Oh, trash is potion. What is? That's uh. Oh, no. uh I guess I would rather have the platinum than another possession. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's what, what those buys that? say to me, is I would rather have, I'm going for money, I want colonies, I don't want do more they, possessions. But I want a they, lot of possessions here, I want as many as I can get. I mean, with the limited draw, it's not like you can play them all. But I probably want, like, three. Do, do they, do they each have two? Uh, Yes. Replace copper in your estate. I think. Copper in your estate's pretty good in general. It's kind of annoyingly good. Like, it feels like kind of a dumb option, but it's it's really good. <laughs> oh, look at that pearl diver doing work. Well, Emporio's, a, Emporium's another Nambo with possession, or you can't get the VP. Yep. If um, you're... They get the VP, in fact. You nobody can't. gets it because you possess them and you gain Emporium, but you don't have any actions in play. Oh, yeah, you're right. So it's not it's not like an active, like, active counter. It just doesn't... Just yeah, it's just a very expensive peddler. Possession just is so confusing with on gain versus on buy stuff because <laughs> if it's on buy then one person will get it. If it's on gain the other person will get it. Yeah. I know Donald X has talked about how having those two triggers be different can be really complicated and like possession just turns that up to eleven. I mean possession is already really complicated. Huh? It's gotta be the most complicated card in the game. I get, just in terms of like how many lines of code it took Steph to implement it, there's so many edge cases. Yeah, and how many, how how big the FAQ is. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah, you can. Uh, I mean, technically, you could have anything in play when it's not your turn. Um, if you play it like as like way of the mouse as a duration or if you play it with like yeah you can you can have durations in play when it's not your turn for sure so it is possible to get the emporium points from possession like if you're possessing someone to buy an emporium you can get the points from it if you happen to have like five durations <laughs> but it's unlikely and it wouldn't it's be possible it. yeah it's, it's not possible in this board so yeah i guess be taking colony yeah points. But okay, they're finally greening. So sounds good. That's kind of a nice gift to get while possessing somebody. You just pitch everything but the copper, right? Or is um, this a, well, this is a double possession turn. Never mind. So yeah. I, I think you pitch the Pearl Diver and the Copper and keep the Wisp in the replace. Yeah, and Chestic resigns. Okay, so 2 of for all so far. wonder if we'll find a new possession bugs. I'm, I'm sure we'll find somebody. I'm sure somebody in this tournament is going to find a possession bug. Ooh, Groom Silk Road, which looks to be the thing to do on this board, but also King's Court Possession. Um, I don't think there's anywhere near enough time to build a possession here. I'm pretty sure this is just a Groom Rush. This groom Silk Road scores a ton and is lightning fast. 
Um, Enchantress could slow it down, no. It can. Like if you're if you're playing if you're trying to play for a possession here, you can like try and spam Enchantress on you. I don't know, I would probably go for the Oh god, that's a terrible two five. Yeah, this is a really bad two five. Um but Shoot, just... there's mission too. The group the groom rush has to be has to be good here. Yeah, the groom rush with mission and even with butterfly at the end for like duchy or something. But uh yeah, I really do not like Chestix's opening of Silver Enchantress. That feels like it has won the problem of not being Groom. If you're Earl here, I wonder if you open Groundskeeper. It's not that crazy. I think I, mean, I just open Groom nothing. I mean, the idea is to open Groundskeeper and then then go into the, the Groom Rush, and then you get a bunch of extra Groundskeeper points. Like, yeah. That's probably good. I mean, if Earl is rushing here and chest tick is not, then Earl's probably just going to win. Um, okay, you can change his miss because it just hits wishing well. No, why are you buying silver? If you want silver, you could just use groom to get silver, but you know what's even better than that? Using groom to get green cards. And more grooms. Because yeah. they got, you get horses. It's a good time. And Chestic is buying their potion, so looks like is, they're going to be trying possession? to build to it, but this is going to be over real fast. Possession um, isn't even going to be good. It's Not only is it not going to be good because their deck isn't going to do anything but rush and like you'd help them empty the piles, uh, well, but I'm... there's no time to get there. I mean, what you would do if you're possessing them is you'd butterfly their grooms, but, like, that's not that impressive. Oh, yeah, that is a good trick. I forgot about that one. Um, yeah, but, since, since the Earl doesn't but, have any villages... Yeah, like, you, can, you, you can play one. one groom that you can butterfly. Doesn't seem that crazy. And Chestic misses possession by one coin. That's That's very sad. Not that possession's doing much on this board anyway. I mean, I would have liked to at least see them get it. Like, they do have King's Court, so they could line up King's Court possession, and that actually could like, maybe win the some... game, yeah. Still it... think. I mean, Still think. now yeah. it's hard with five Silk Roads gone, six Silk Roads gone, something like that. Well, I, I assume the goal with possession is to like over kind of like outspeed them and return all their grooms so that they don't have deck before they yeah but how they... do you return all their grooms like with no village King, king's court king's court possession 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 i mean it, that's that's what your goal is if you're going for possession here. for sure oh they're probably going to hit possession next turn king's court enchantress yeah, like, honestly, this is just really kind of entertaining to see. It's a nice, nice mission turn, though. Yep. And the piles go spinning. You... Yeah, you butterfly well into, into Groom, right? Yeah, yeah there's there's no... Probably. It's over. Uh, I imagine you... A King's Courting Enchantress here is just to... I mean, everything seems so losing. I mean, you're just you're just praying to draw... Your possession and King's Court together next turn. Yeah. But does that even really save you? I mean, look how far behind you are in VP. Well, there, I mean, there's groundskeeper. So if if Chestic can manage to, com I don't, I don't, I think Earl is one. But if Chestic can manage to completely demolish Earl's deck, then they can just like spend their time buying a bunch of groundskeepers and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. And okay. then, like, no chest stick. 
I don't think you have time for possession. Uh, yeah, no, they don't. They, did, they didn't... Jesus Christ. Yeah, is this... It's not quite over. And they, they didn't... Oh, you hate to see that. Wish for... Wish for possession. Yeah, wish for it, I guess. It's 1 in 12. Like... Uh, yeah. Okay. Butterfly the King's Court in the province and then smash the resign button. Yep. It's a good mission. Yeah, no, that's a good point. You can you can mission here. Or just buy groundskeeper and lose. Just give up. Surrender all hope. Alright, so that is now 3 0 Earl, if I'm correct. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so let's see what happens as we head into game four. Look, there's Guardian, we'll be fine. If only. If only. Um, so let's look at this board. What is going on? Uh, Scepter is a way that we can play more than one possession. Well, Blacksmith lets us put ourselves in debt. That lock, that lock. Um, yeah, this is, this is like... Disgusting. Traitor is the only trashing. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, this so it's insane. gonna be really hard to get rid of your economy here. Uh, but I guess with debt locking, you don't need to get rid of your economy quite as aggressively as you usually do when you play possession. Yeah, I mean, the debt lock just doesn't seem very good. Well, okay, so the, I mean, you're gonna need. So archive is just a weird thing here. Yeah, archive is pretty strange on this board. I mean, you have to play with it, right? You need to play with archive, and then it just like. I guess it's not really that easy for your opponent to abuse it. Hi, Terra Cubist. Are you getting Royal Blacksmith flashbacks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were the. When I played the deadlock game with yesterday, it was a it was a mess. <laughs> Excellent archive. Three states. Another all out of your shuffle. Yeah. So do you like? Do you bother with trader? I don't think so. I mean, it trashes coppers? That it does. The, the ducats look suspect to me. Cause like, yeah, they can just steal all your coffers. I guess I guess the point is to, like, save up the coffers. To, to get like, that first possession. A few of them are okay, I think. But yeah, I guess the end game here is just Man, the problem with Scepter is that... It's well, actually, still money. There's two problems with Scepter. One is your, your opponent can use it to, like, you know, get money when they're possessing you. And two, they can also Scepter your archives and then delete your entire deck so you can't use it for, like, three turns. Like, if, if, if they play an archive for you, and then they play... And then they you... scepter it. Yeah, they have to do it on the same turn. But, yeah, that is potentially yeah. a lot. Archives, like, it's going to happen eventually. Mm -hmm. And then, then all your scepters are gone for, like, three turns. So that's kind of funny. So, honestly, maybe I would be... Maybe I would be trying to trade her down to, like, a, a deck of, like... Trader possession and like two or three scepters. Like maybe I would. Re I guess 
No, you can't even do that. Can you, you need to hang on to the potion. Yeah. And it's going to be really hard to get that thin with just Tracer. Yeah, wait, and, and, and Estates. It's like not even possible. Well, I think the biggest thing is that Trader can only kill coppers, right? Like, it can't kill more expensive cards. So, it's yeah. really hard to get down to a no economy deck with just Trader. Yeah, it's like impossible, actually. I, I, I don't know what, if you just, I don't, I don't even know. I have no idea what to do. Maybe you just get a single position and then like, spam a blacksmith because you're not going to find it. Alright, so Earl gets the first possession of the board. Uh, I guess the right move is probably just to like spam possessions and scepters and then just like buy green cards. That would be my plan. Yeah, because like if I collide possession with Scepter, like that's good for me. It's not so great for my opponent. If they're doing it, they can just get the two from the Scepter and like buy something. It's not the worst thing. I mean, you're letting them play it as a silver. It's not great, but it's okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'd be messing with archives, honestly. I don't know. I think you might have to be playing with archives. It's the only way to draw. Besides RBS with no village. Yeah, but I'm just afraid of the archive scepter thing. Like, mm -hmm. I'd rather just like get a bunch of possessions and then like it's likely that I'll find one each turn. Yeah. The classic possession money deck. <laughs> oh, actually, the the archive scepter thing is not as bad as I thought it was because it's not really for three turns. It's like three. I mean, three turns taken by you, but they're not three of your turns. Like, the first one's a possession turn, and then there's probably going to be another possession turn there as well. Mm -hmm. So it might not be as bad as I thought it was. Well, Chestick is uh, archiving himself by playing Scepter's Archive. Uh, I'm guessing you take the copper here? I don't know, it's awkward to like leave good treasures in the archives when your opponent has possession. Uh, bank? Not loving bank. I mean, it's not really better than gold, is it? Oof. Uh, lucky number. Um, wow. the hand they're coming oh. into is also five potion. Earl hits five potion with both his X at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, he's got archives. Oh, okay. So that's... Easy possession. Scepters, maybe? I don't know. Not 
more possessions. Oh, well, I mean, if you can buy them for sure. If you're going heavy enough on the archive, you only need one possession, but... I meant on that last turn, right? It, there was ten money. I was thinking two scepters, but I could agree with this Emblem me and just grab a province instead. Take the archive and play it, probably. Going in for a think here. Not sure what they're contemplating exactly. What are they thinking about? Whether to play the other archive, I guess they don't. Uh, did they just? Oh, it was a possession turn. Okay, that's why they burned the coffer. Yeah. Well, here comes two possessions. I would have probably. Scepter. Really, doesn't take the scepter. Hmm. Yeah, that seems really bad. It's five potion again. Yeah, I mean, you could have just uh, double possessed them. Also, you don't want to burn the coffers there because you have a. Oh, you know, you only have one turn. I don't know why I thought uh, they had played the scepter possession. So, yeah, burn those coffers away. Here come the scepters. Alright, how many turns in a row do we have? Four? Four. Yeah. Your deck now belongs to us. And they have all these archives. And the bank is still in there. So... Yeah, with this many, um... We play, uh, or no, no, we play no card here. Just take the money, okay. Um... I'm not sure you want to buy another possession there. I don't know, maybe. I don't know what, what, are you, what are you trying to do with Trader Raid? Um... Yeah, no, Raid is Chris Silver you have in play, not... Yeah, I, I'm not sure what the thought there was. Something like if it was Conquest and you Maybe. could use Trader to like amplify the number of Silvers you gain. So this 
This looks pretty over. Yeah. Trader present. No, don't do that. Uh, you don't need to fill your deck with silvers. Just do this. And then... This doesn't quite get to another one. You just buy dodgy. I agree, assemble me. Um, I think after one, I only want one possession on this board, then I just want a lot of green cards and some scepters. Wow, look at that. Four cost money. Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you probably take a possession there. Yeah, the possessions are are worth points as well, so that makes them less bad. There are points for both players, aren't they? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, each person has two now, and way more archives than that, so they are arch points for both players. Okay, so Earl's got both possessions in archives so that would have been great but those are going bye bye but still chest I got a lot of ground to make up Earl's deck is full of green now. <laughs> to be fair, it's been full of green for a while. But yeah, Earl can hold on and just slowly chip this out from here. What is Earl thinking about? Alright, gets everything out of the archives, so Earl won't have those possessions sitting in archive for when they come back around, which is good. Uh, for Chestic, I'm still not really seeing how Chestic can win this though. That's true. The scepter is archive thing that swings both ways. Because it means you don't get to use the scepters. But your opponent also doesn't get to use the scepters. Mm -hmm. So what do you do as oil at this point? Just like... Um, I don't even know. Probably try to pile, get the rest of the scepters, and then either pile estates or ducats. Yeah, I guess. 
I mean, or just like try and get to your possessions more, but I don't even know how you can do that. Yeah. Well, here, Chestic has to choose between a province and a possession. Hmm, I don't actually know. Wait, what? what? They didn't play their scepter. Well, that was weird. Could have gotten an extra position out of it, right? Yeah, they, they just completely didn't play the scepter. They could have used it for money to buy a province, or they could have used it to double a possession, but they just didn't use it. actually getting the undo to go through is the real issue here. Oh, you just have to accept their invitation to undo negative 831 steps. Yes, naturally. I don't know what's so wrong with that. It makes perfect sense to me. to just take the duchy. Um, okay, I mean, I see it. There's just a lot of VP to catch up on. I kind of wanted one of those props. Here. I think so. Yeah. Like, there's anything better to do. We're in the fill your deck with green cards and try to win the slog portion of our possession game. But, I mean, Earl has it. It just has to not throw in some bizarre way. This looks to be. This should be. Can, uh, I don't think yeah. Earl takes RBS at all. He's he doesn't need to get debt locked. He's not. Um, he's, his he's, deck doesn't do anything. It, it's full of green. Okay, that is why bank is also a liability, apparently. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was pretty fast. Four ga four possession games in an hour. Yeah, it was. Well, thanks for commentating with me. This was fun. Yeah, thank you. And uh, good luck in the rest of the tournament. Yeah. See ya. Thanks for listening, everyone.